Hey guys, and welcome to Get On For What. Today, we're going to be making a Hackintosh. A Hackintosh. A Hackintosh? Hey, there we go. <clears throat> and this. So I've been needing a new computer for quite some time now. The giant robotic arm project and a lot of the gearboxes that I make take an extremely long amount of compute. It's, it's crazy how much time it takes on a MacBook. But now I've decided to spend the money and actually get myself a real desktop computer. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Okay. And the reason I went with this one is that this is the newest processor with the fastest clock speed. Um, shit. You know what? Shit, shit, shit. I was told that this thing came with a heat sink. Well, so far this project is going pretty great. Also in this box, I've got a 250 gigabyte Samsung solid state drive. Uh, this is just for the operating system and maybe a few other applications. One single 16 gigabyte card of RAM. Oh boy. Look at that. And this is the Asus Maximum X Hero. <laughs> yeah. By the way, none of this stuff was sponsored. Like none of this was given to me for free. I had I actually bought all of this on Amazon all myself. So yeah, actually. Oh my god, this thing is sweet. Look at that, you open up the box and it's got this like, uh, kind of like 3D book type thing. Check this thing out, the chassis that I got. You can have it. And I was like, what, I can have it? What kind is it? And then he tells me what kind it is and I looked it up on the internet. And it's this thing. Like. Who just gives these away? I don't even know, but this guy did, and I can't even believe it. I'm so excited that like the most expensive component of the computer, you know, besides the CPU, was given to me. Um, I'm sure I can boot it, maybe install an OS on it with the crappy heatsink from my other computer, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I spent about a week of my life, like seriously, about a week of my life, watching videos by Linus Tech Tips and uh, J2 Cents, learned a lot of things. Now one thing I learned is that a lot of ASUS motherboards pretty much forces that CPU to turbo boost all four or six cores. And that's a problem for me because I don't have adequate cooling to do that. Go into the BIOS and modify some settings to make it not do that. Instructions that I've seen uh, Linus talk about in his videos, uh, he suggests taking your motherboard suggest setting it on top of the box. I wonder if that's what this is for. Take the instructions, throw those away. It comes with a CD. Uh, instructions. You always keep the instructions for when it doesn't work. Installing this stick of RAM. I don't know which port I install it into, so I'm just gonna try one. Only oh, one side of the RAM thing folds down. Uh, it's just a Wi-Fi antenna on the CPU. CPUs are expensive. I think I might read the instructions on this. Open up the lid. Install the CPU. Try not to touch the pins. So static shock it. Very carefully set it in there. God, I don't want to be that hard on. I don't like how hard that was. I feel like it broke something. To keep this cover. Unbox the power supply. I have more ports on here. Then I think I have plugs.
they don't come with a heat sink and they don't come with thermal compound. And now I'm a little bit screwed. Uh, and look at the size of this heat sink, it's just dinky. I'm at the point now where I clearly do not have the right stuff, but I have a couple more tricks up my sleeve. So I went to the junkyard. <laughs> I know, I know, that's how every good story starts. I went to the junkyard and, uh, you know, my buddy owns it kind of deal and uh, happened to find this huge heat sink. So I just have to figure out if I can make this fit on there. And damn, that's not going to work, is it? It's a stock Intel heat sink. This is hilarious. This is probably the only Maximus X hero that's ever had a heat sink on it with a fan that says Intel. I mean, this is stupid. Just so I can test this thing and see if I can get this board to post. That's it. Yeah, that connector actually plugs right in. Uh, I thought the CPU came with thermal paste and I don't have any Arctic Silver, but this is thermal paste. I'm, I'm guessing this is at least like, what, 50% is good? So I'm gonna use some of this just to make it post and then I'm going to install it, get everything ready while I order some actual Arctic Silver, order a real heatsink too, so. So I think you're supposed to go with the rice grain. There's so many techie people out there that are just cringing. It's the fact that I don't have a clue what I'm doing. All right, it's time to see if this computer will post. I really hope that I'm not forgetting anything stupid. I assume that I don't need the SSD in it. I assume that uh, none of these other things have to be populated, whatever they are. I really don't feel like I need to test it with the graphics card in case there's something wrong with that. Because uh, I could always just pull that out really easy, so. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this switch. That is on. Oh my God, it's booting up. Okay, I'm gonna hit start. Okay, now it's on. So you guys are gonna laugh at me a lot of it. I'm not a computer guy. I, I, I haven't owned a desktop computer except for that one that I just got last week from the junkyard again. Uh, and I don't have a monitor for one, so I'm gonna use this projector. <laughs> because it'll work and I'll be able to see if it's turning on properly. There's one issue that I'm seeing with this, this uh, projector idea, and that is that that board does not have a VGA port. I thought it had a VGA port when, of course it doesn't. Why would it? This is an expensive gaming motherboard. All right, so it's time to install the power supply. Uh, the tight is a little bit fit. Uh, <laughs> the tight is a little bit fit. Uh, cause the motherboard is behind the power supply and that's a serious issue. Um, so I kind of thought that this board would fit in this computer, but I didn't really check and, uh, shit. Yep. It's time to pause this video and, uh, think for a little bit, do some more thinking, uh, figure out how I messed this up so badly, how I how I bought such a big motherboard and such a small case. I knew something was wrong when there wasn't standoffs for the, the bottom of the board. So that, I mean, that was my first hint. So since I ordered the wrong case originally, I found this old case and put my motherboard for my new computer in here so I could use it for a little while because I really, really, really wanted to play with it. So now I have to take it back out of this old case so I can put it in this new one that I'll show you in just a second. So this is the new case. It's got a uh, dust filter on top, magnetic. It's got a tempered glass side panel, which you will see very shortly. And best of all, I think the motherboard actually fits in here. To learn that ATX motherboards fit in ATX cases. So I picked up one of these water coolers uh, because this heat sink wasn't nearly big enough. I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, I know why. But uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was gonna work. I was trying to cheap out and it was just a bad idea because this was not very expensive. Okay, 
Okay, so one thing I'm not entirely sure about is there's thermal paste already on this cooler block. Uh, and I actually ended up buying some too. And I don't know if this is good stuff because I have no clue what it is. And I looked on the internet, I read a forum, a couple posts said leave it on there and use that. So I'm gonna go with that. Hopefully I don't end up taking it off again and replacing it. Question, how the hell do I get a power supply in? Oh, from the other side. <laughs> Figured it out. It goes in from the back. But first, before I screw the motherboard down, I have to take it back out so I can flip the thing upright without the motherboard falling out of place. Uh, because I have to get to the other side of the case to pull the screws out, or to pull the box out that has all the screws in it. Hey, captive screws, finally. Oh, I almost forgot what I came over here for. So I messed up a little bit here. These screws are long enough to go into the radiator and actually probably hit the fins, but I'm lucky in that they actually put a plate there before you screw the screw right through the fins. Uh, so basically what I need to do is I need to make these screws stick not into the radiator as far as putting these washers on that they came with. Now I know what those are for. Okay, now I think I'm ready to bolt the motherboard down. I'm probably not, but I'm gonna do it now anyways because I don't know what else to do. Well, that screw hole is fucked. I think it's time to put this thing on. I have waited long enough. It's time to put my memory back in. This time I read the manual and figured out what slot that it actually belongs in. Oh yeah, now I got two sticks of memory too. And now for the best part. Am I done? Am I seriously done already? Like, I feel like there's a million things that I haven't done yet. 500 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive. This is stupid fast. I cannot believe how small this thing is. That's how big it is. I thought this thing was gonna be much bigger than this. So I believe it goes right under here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Junkyard Special, got this one for free. Junkyard Special. So, here's your first look at the Gear Down For What 
Macintosh. Pretty sweet, right? I was gonna do a proper outro for this, but I gotta finish editing it, so I'll just see you guys later. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter. That would be great. Thank you. All right, bye.